Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I was a cheerleader, but this is a cheek leader. What are my beauty haul favorites? Check it out. All right guys, let's get started. So I went on a beauty haul from Sephora to Ulta to Morphe store. I've got so much for you guys that I'm currently just loving right now. Let's start off with this cheerleader since I just started my intro with it. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. I was at Sephora buying something else and I ran into this palette and what caught my eye is because I needed some more Hoola. <laughs> it's my favorite bronzer, you guys know that if you watch my channel. If you're new to my channel, Hoola bronzer is my ultimate favorite contour and bronzer. But not only that, I mean the sugar cookie highlighter is unbelievably beautiful. And then this topper, this blush topper, I would use it as a blush topper. I wouldn't use it as a blush because it doesn't have enough pigment for me for a blush, but it's a beautiful blush topper. Which brings me to Luminous Light by Hourglass. I had to repurchase this. I like the travel size because I have so many things to travel with all the time. It takes me a while to get through that. But it's that same concept. And what I mean by a topper is when you take like, this is just an It Cosmetics brush, you just brush it over like that and it just leaves a nice little gleam. It kind of blends in your blush to your highlighter. I absolutely love this Luminous Light one and it kind of blurs out a little bit. So I, I like it if you have very texturized skin, it is wonderful, the Hourglass one. But you can also use this one in the Cheek Leader palette and it kind of is a similar concept, you know? It's not gonna leave as much of like that blurring effect, but it's still gonna leave like that glistening effect. It's really, really pretty. And this highlighter, I think it's called, oh, cookie, I called it sugar cookie, because it's very sugar cookie-ish. It is so beautiful. So what I like to do is just put like on the high points of my cheekbones. But what sold me on this originally when I walked by it at Sephora was the fact that I liked the packaging better on this Hoola bronzer. So typically I would buy the Hoola bronzer on its own and it's like in a cardboard box, but it's kind of hard to like dip your larger brushes, like say I want like a softer contour or a softer bronzing effect. Like this brush is fine, but like my wider ones, it's harder to get into. It's more hollow inside versus this one, the pan just sits nice and up right where I could just take any brush, whether it's big or <laughs> I got hair, I got, I have, I have so much going on over here, <laughs> but you can basically dip any brush. It's just easier to get to. And if I can have a highlighter and a bronzer in one palette, Hey, that's all I have to bring sometimes. So I really liked it. And of course it sold me because I was a cheerleader as a former cheerleader, as a professional cheerleader, this name alone just sold me. It was so pretty when I walked by and they were completely out at Sephora. So I, did a store to door order on that and I am so happy I got that. That is so beautiful. I'm a huge fan of Hula bronzer. So mainly for the bronzer, but I had an additive benefit of having the highlighter and the blush topper, which is nice. But I did have to replenish my Hourglass Luminous Light. I love this, you guys. Again, this is the best blush topper. And I know you're probably going, why do I need a blush topper? You don't, you don't need it, but I like it for myself. For me, it just blends in my blush to my highlighter, which is why I like it. Again, just taking that brush and really, you wanna make sure it's a soft brush. You don't want it to be a really dense brush because you don't wanna put too much of it on. I have to have this product. I do, personally, I have to have it. I know, it's probably every product I have to have. <laughs> And then while I was also there, I found a couple other things. So the Fenty Beauty setting powders. I've been hearing such wonderful things about their setting powders. I couldn't decide between, I think it was Cashew, which is kind of similar to what I already have with my Cover FX and Laura Mercier. And I did see a video on the Lavender Fenty Beauty setting powder and I was like sold. I was like, that looks absolutely beautiful. I was a little afraid on my skin tone being more light medium whether or not it was going to be too brightening because what lavender is going to do is it's going to brighten that under eye area. So where I would usually use my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, which I still like to do that, that yellow tone color, I would take this lavender instead of that Kat Von D one and set it with my Morphe contour sponge and just like how would you typically bake with either my Laura Mercier or my Kat Von D shade and light color. I think it's Lyric is that color I like to use to really give that brightening effect. 
This lavender is absolutely beautiful. I have it on right now. I set my makeup with it today. It is so beautiful. It just leaves your skin looking so bright and flawless. Her setting powders are amazing. And I just, I mean, this look at this packaging with the rose gold on top. Her packaging is so beautiful on her products, but I really like this lavender. Let me kind of, I can't really show it to you guys. You're not going to really get that full effect of it, but I'll show a picture right there. It is so pretty. I absolutely love this setting powder. It's one of my new favorite setting powders. And now this is not a powder I would use to set my whole face. I would still use my Laura Mercier or my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder for like the perimeters of my face. And then I would use this just for under the eyes and it is stunning. I'm telling you guys, if you have like light to light to medium skin, you will love this lavender setting powder. If you have darker skin, I don't know how that would translate. So you'd have to be careful. You'd have to try it on it in the store, but for light to light to medium skin, oh, it's beautiful. And speaking of beautiful skin right now, I am loving this IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Bottle Foundation. I mean, seriously, this is really good foundation. I'm gonna do a video on this soon. I absolutely love this foundation. It is so, so pretty. I don't have it on today, but I used it the other day and I was like, wow, I'll show a picture right there. It is so, beautiful it leaves my skin feeling very lightweight kind of like that beauty blender foundation it, it has that same type of velvety matte finish but not too mattifying not too drying either it is beautiful for my girls 40 and up i would definitely recommend that foundation i'll talk more about it i'll do a separate video on that i'll test that one out and wear it all day and show you guys how it performs but i have so far been very happy i haven't kept it on more than like two hours so i need to kind of see for a more an extended time how it wears but those two hours it was absolutely beautiful so I was at Sephora I wanted to try the Isles of Paradise tanning drops and I did do a sample of that and I really like it for the face I think it is a beautiful way to tan your face because a lot of times we don't want to use a lot of these tanning products on our face but those tanning drops are perfect for the face because you mix it with moisturizer or lotion if you're doing your body now I did the dark I would literally have to use like almost the entire bottle to get that tan that I like. Now I am very pale during the winter, but I can tan in the sun. Of course, I'm over 40. I don't want to tan in the sun anymore. So I'm looking for self tanners that don't leave that orange effect, that don't leave the streaks. And I do have a spray one that I really like, but it just gets really messy. It's called Quick Tan, I think. I'll leave it up there. And I really like that one. It's, it gives a beautiful tan and it lasts for about five to six days. But I want it something where it's not going to turn my entire bathroom orange so that Isles of Paradise I was the girl at Sephora recommended it and I do really like it for the face I'm actually going to purchase it for my face because I can just mix it with my moisturizer and it's very safe on the skin but for the body this loving tan the girl at Ulta recommended this one this is deluxe bronzing mousse and this is in dark so I am really happy with this this doesn't have that really strong odor it dries down very fast it doesn't turn your sheets all orange it gives a beautiful color a very natural color I did a very light amount because I just wanted to play with it but now I'll go in a little bit heavier handed and get a little bit more in there to give myself a lot more color I just I literally just wanted to try a little bit of it because I just feel like if you just try a little bit and you like it then you can go in and try it all over your body and give yourself a nice glowing beautiful tan without having to damage your skin in the sun especially for women like me who are 40 and we don't we don't need anything else to age us <laughs> so I really am liking this loving tan I'm to do a whole video on tanning self tanners because I feel like what do we need and and I'll get that Isle of Paradise so you can actually see those drops they're very safe on the skin I actually did really well with it on my face so I'm excited and you guys know if you watch my channel I'm extremely sensitive when it comes to products on my face especially but my skin in general all right guys the high tides and good vibes eyeshadow palette I just did a video on this you can check out that video up there I created a very similar look to this this time I used the gold in the middle as like a halo effect but the other one I just did strictly turquoise that really beautiful um, here I'll show it to you guys that really beautiful teal color but this time I mix the two of them together I 
absolutely am loving this palette. This palette is well worth it. It's $39. It is beautiful. It has the glitters that don't get all over the place. It actually has glue built into the glitter pans. So it's just perfect. It is a perfect palette. I love it. And the packaging, I mean, come on, this should be way more expensive than $39 because they put a lot of money into this palette with the mirror. It is beautiful. And then also at Ulta, I really like, and before Shape Tape, LA Girl, was like the it concealer right because it just there wasn't a really great concealer that was thick it gave you coverage but let me tell you LA girl has some really good concealers and if you don't want to break your budget and you don't want to spend $27 on a concealer or $20 or more on a concealer LA girl has really good concealers I like this green one why do I like it because I have been having these IUD hormonal breakouts that are just driving me crazy and this green concealer is a lifesaver because I like to use this before I go in with my foundation. Now I can do a whole video on that but covering up those spots can be tricky especially when they're scarred and they're healing is that they they have like a brownish tone sometimes it's like dried up blood or whatever it is. So what you would do first is go in with the green concealer conceal the spots that you need. I like to use my finger and then maybe like a dense brush and then just kind of pat at it and then I'd go in with like my uh, concealer that's like my skin tone like my Laura Mercier I just did that on my current March favorite video and that can't secret camouflage is really good over this and then after that I go in with my foundation then I have to put as much foundation to try to cover up those spots so it's a really good trick to covering up acne scars or any kind of blemishes or red spots or discolorization on your skin I really love it and if you're gonna get a green concealer why break the budget if you want to get a good concealer like one that matches your skin tone or your regular concealer, I would use the more inexpensive green one. I think this is $4.99, I'll put it down on the bottom. This is a really, really good concealer for covering up those dark spots. Green is gonna cancel out like the red in the, you know, just the scarring or any kind of discolorization, that green is gonna be really good for that. There was a couple things I found at the Morphe store recently. I love, if you guys watch my videos, you know I love this E-Series from Morphe. I love this brush. This is a E56, I wanna say. I think this is E56, but I'm not sure. I'll put it on the bottom. But this is a really good, like to, if you wanna do like a cream contour, to really blend out that cream contour. This is a really good brush. It's nice and dense, but not too dense. It's very blendable. It feels like a very expensive brush and it was like less than $20. So really good brush. While I was there, of course, I had to try out the Jeffree Star Cosmetics concealer and oh my goodness you guys will have to check out that video it is such a good concealer wow i'm kind of starting to replace it with shape tape a little yes this is really good this is a beautiful concealer so i'm talking about my current favorites in my newest beauty haul and i am obsessed with this concealer it is really really good okay that was it from the morphe store i forgot to mention i did have a couple more purchases from ulta i am currently loving these lip liners from dose of colors I mean oh my goodness this one is dime and this one is casual I have I have them both on actually. I kind of outlined my lips with dime and then kind of filled in with casual. Beautiful colors, I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And I like that there's a sharpener there. It's really nice, let me see if I can. Uh... Oh yeah, there we go. And they're very soft and they apply so easy and so blendable. That one is, let's see, dime. And then I will show you in a second. And then this one's casual, it's kind of more of a pink, pinky color but beautiful colors. The darker one is a dime and then that pinky one is casual. So pretty. I love, love, love these lip liners. It's the first time I tried them. I've never used their lip liners. Oh, now I can't get it off. So while I was there, I actually purchased because I had that 20% off uh, prestige brand coupon at Ulta. Take advantage of those. Get everything you need when you get those coupons if you're an Ultimate Rewards member. But this Dose of Color Eyeliner in Caviar, I wanna say, this eyeliner is beautiful. It is, it glides on so nice. I like to put it underneath my eyelashes to really darken up that area to kind of blend the eyelash to my falsies to my normal eyelashes. But I just, it just blends it so seamlessly and so beautiful. It glides on and it stays. It is really hard to get off, <laughs> really hard to get off, which is good. You want it to stay, especially gel liners like that. Or I don't think this is a gel liner. It's just a regular eyeliner, but 
It is, their eyeliners are so good. I think Move Over Urban Decay, I am actually gonna buy their eyeliners and they're a little bit, I think a little bit less expensive. I wanna say Urban Decay is like around 20 and they're around 16, so that's not bad. And then I used the 20% off coupon that day. So I got it down a little bit more than that too. Now, oh, I forgot to mention while I was at the Morphe Star, I also like this new highlighter brush, this M451. I usually use my Sigma F35, and I do like that one a lot. But for, I like this one to really get more detailed highlight. I think it is so beautiful, especially if I just really want it on the top, like there, like right there. This is a perfect one to use. Um, I'm all over the place because there's so many so many products. Now, as far as foundation brushes, I have had a hard time trying to find good foundation brushes. Morphe has really good ones. It Cosmetics has really good ones, but they're very expensive. I am loving the Sigma F80 foundation brush. This is a miracle worker when it comes to foundation. I think this is ultimately the best foundation brush on the market, I promise you that. It's like $20 around there. It's very inexpensive too, and it is nice and dense. It blends like a dream. And brushes are very tricky sometimes because sometimes they leave streaky marks. You know, it's always better to use foundation with beauty blenders or any kind of beauty sponge, but this brush is unbelievably good. This F80 brush, I'll link everything on the bottom like I always do, but what I like about this, so say I went in with that green concealer and I wanted to spot conceal, right? The problem with going in with a beauty blender after doing that, you just put in the work, you just covered up that spot, now you're gonna go in with a beauty blender and you're gonna take off that product. Because what beauty blenders do is they make it more natural, right? They, When you blend it into your skin, it's, it's just a more natural look, but it's taking product off too. So if you go in and you conceal and you get it all perfect and pretty and covered up and camouflaged, can't see it anymore, you take that beauty blender and the minute you go in there with the beauty blender, it's going to come right off. Everything you just covered up is gonna come right off that beauty blender. So it's gonna lift a little bit. It's not gonna come all off, but it's gonna lift it. Now, if you take this brush and you just dab it with your foundation, it works like a miracle and you're not gonna take away any of that camouflaging you already did. So I really find that brushes are really good when it comes to like, you know, concealing those areas. If I have nothing on my face, I'm just gonna use my beauty blender. Or if I have like a lighter foundation, like my Skin uh, Skin Love by Becca, it's a lighter foundation for me, I'm gonna go in with this brush. I just think it applies better with the brush. So there are certain times where I like a beauty sponge and there's certain times where I like a brush. And those are the times that I like the brush. But if I were to use a brush, this Sigma F80, you guys have to get your hands on this. If, and the good part about using a brush with foundation is it goes by really fast. <laughs> Sometimes Beauty Blender, it takes a little while, you know, cause you just wanna make it so perfect and seamless. But I really, really like that. Now, my other new favorite is these Prismetals by JCat. JCat is a very, very affordable brand. Now you can't find it a lot of places. Like I have never been able to physically walk in a store and find their products. I usually have to get it online. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on JCAT, their website. You can get it on Ulta, their website. And I don't know if they have the Prismetals on Ulta website, but I know for sure JCAT does. And I really like that Aqua Assurance Foundation Powder, but these Prismetals are so beautiful. Let me show you guys. How gorgeous is that pink? Oh my goodness. And then this is like a like a softer, like a, I don't know, like a light pink, I guess you would say. It is so pretty. You guys have to see that. How gorgeous is that? I'm not even gonna pretend to tell you what color they are because I probably can't read it anyway. But those colors were my two favorites online. I still wanna get more of them because I just, oh, they just glide on so beautifully. I'll do a video when I do my powder video. Um, when I show you how to apply their powder, I'll do. I'll also show you how to apply those shadows. They are so beautiful. And I wanna say they were like five bucks or something like that. They're so inexpensive. It's crazy how inexpensive they are. Now, if you like more luxury products, this is my other new favorite from my beauty haul. This is Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. This color is so 
beautiful. This gives you, this is like perfect for like that bronze effect you want. Like maybe you just want to do something very natural on the eye and you just want to put that in the eyelid space area. It kind of has like an army green. I wore it with like a camouflage shirt the other day and it was so pretty. And they just put some bronzer on. You can do a very natural look with that. It is so, so beautiful. All right, let's go in with eyelashes. So you guys know I love glamour and I just pretty much wear eyelashes everywhere I go. If I'm not wearing eyelash extensions, I'm wearing false lashes. I just love false lashes. I love the way it looks. I like that fake look. <laughs> Let's just get real. That's who I am. <laughs> I'm not a natural girl. So I am loving these wispies for daytime. Now I love my kiss lashes. I love my lily lashes. I love my house of lashes, you know, to go out, to, to do that full glam look. But for every day, I know you're like every day, why are you wearing lashes? <laughs> well, that's who I am. So if I got to go to the grocery store, I'm going to wear my false lashes. <laughs> It's just who I am. It's just I just have to accept it and as long as everyone else around me accepts it, we're good to go. <laughs> but these wispies are so pretty. I love, love, love. So because it kind of gives you glamour but yet still kind of has a slightly natural look <laughs> to it. But I like it. It really like rounds out my eyes. It kind of if you have like a I am I'm part Asian, so I kind of have a little bit of an almond shape to my eye. So if you have more almond shape eyes, this is a good way to like really round out your your eyes and make them look really big especially if you just did this and no eyeliner and then just did like mascara on the bottom it is so so pretty I like to buy them at Sally's I just find that they have better deals than Ulta the Ardell lashes okay two more products you guys so I really lately I just kind of switch between either my P Louise eyeshadow base or my tart shape tape I must said chart again <laughs> Oh my goodness. And then I also like to use the MAC 24 hour concealer or MAC soft ochre paint pot. Those are my favorite eyeshadow bases. But I really, really like this NARS creamy concealer one. I think it's called creamy concealer. I'm not quite sure, but it's like their pot concealers. I love this as an eyeshadow base. It is so good. It's really nice to be able to kind of carve out your eyebrows too. I really like this one. I want to say this is medium. So I could even go a little bit lighter. I bought medium because I thought I was going to use it as like a regular concealer and I didn't like it that much as a concealer, but I really like it as an eyeshadow base. It really does work well. So I like these little, and I like the fact that you can screw them on real, <laughs> you can screw them on real tight, you know? Who doesn't want to screw it on real tight? <laughs> All right, let's get PG-13, people. <laughs> All right, my uh, last thing is my Anastasia eyebrow gel. I have been really liking to go to this lately because my hair is really blonde now. I like using the clear one, but sometimes I want like a little bit of a, like a highlight to my eyebrow. And I really have been like, I don't have it on today, but I've been really liking to use this for my eyebrow gel. I um, think this is caramel. I either like the brunette or the caramel. They, I have them both and I really like the way they give you kind of like a little bit of a highlight to your eyebrow without having to dye your eyebrows. So recently I dyed my own eyebrows and I forgot to take off the product because I was editing a video and I burned myself. So that's not fun. <laughs> but if I don't want to dye my eyebrows, I do like using like the tinted eyebrow gels. I think they work really good. All right, guys. So those are all the products that I purchased in my beauty haul. Some of them were just absolutely winner, winner chicken dinners. They were so good. Like my Jeffree Star concealer, my Tarte eyeshadow palette. I mean, just some real standouts. This Cheek Leader palette. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so excited. I used my 20% off coupon at Ulta for some of those products, but I like to buy my beauty products from multiple stores. I mean, there's just isn't one favorite store that I like to go to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Set your notification bell for future videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.